Hi guys, it's Rachel here. I've been absent for a while. I had quite a lot of orders to work on and I seem to find when I have a lot of orders to work on, especially sewing ones, it kind of, um, I feel blocked. I can't um, do videos. I'm going to try and do a video today even though I still have to finish orders. Um, but I don't know how inventive I'm going to be today. I might be doing similar things to what I've already done um, so I don't know so if you find that and you don't want to watch please feel free to move on um, but I thought I'd just share what I'm up to one of the other things I've done I had a bee in my bonnet about my sewing room um, so at the end of my work table um, you probably saw a flash in one of my other videos I had uh, another table at 90 degrees that was sort of tucked into the corner, the little space there. And when I first moved into this sewing room, I thought um, I needed that space for, because I'm primarily a sewer, I needed that space for cutting and piecing and things. It end, I, Then I had to put shelves on the top, um, some Ikea shelves on the top because I didn't have enough storage. And then I put these drawers where I keep all my laces and trims. And then... That limited the space on the table and it just became a big dust collecting um, dumping ground. That's what it was. And then I couldn't find things and then the dumpingness extended onto my work table. And then underneath there were all these random things shoved under there. And so I never swept in, in there, under there for like, I don't know how many years. And I thought... Luckily, I'm not in Australia because I probably have all kinds of redbacks and funnel webs living under there. So I had a bee in my bonnet and I have removed the table. Um, and I went to this really cool shop here um, called Maison du Monde. It's like a French style sort of store, furniture store. And they have um, not IKEA cheap, but medium sort of range, price range or a little bit inexpensive um sort of french style furniture and they can be it can be modern or provincial or industrial or whatever um so i spent some time on their website and i found these really cool drawers i think i'm going to have to show you i can't wait so my table is a mess at the moment because i pulled out everything for making tags and stuff like that but normally it's totally clear so i'm really excited so i did buy these little drawers here which i really love because I had all this stuff along the back of my um, table and was interfering when I had to cut. So I have these lovely drawers and I've got everything's got, you know, I can put my measuring tape, my little scissors. I've got um, rubber thimbles, um, all kinds of things in there. So that's really cool. And then at the end of my table here, oops, I'm not very good at this. Um, don't look at those generals, they're not finished. Um, I had the table and that big shelf was on top and then those shelves there where I have all my laces, look at the mess, um, were on top as well. So I literally had no room. And I never used my big shot because it had all stuff piled on top of it and I could never get it out. So I have to paint that little Ikea box that had drawers. That was Lulu's and it's got scribble all over it. I'm going to paint that with chalk paint. And then see these drawers? I got these drawers here, which I absolutely love. You probably can't see them very well. I'm going to pull that out because I need that. But it's got all these metal baskets and I've put everything in there. So it's really cool. And if I ever need it, like the second drawer is my homespun that I haven't touched for months. And um, and then down below are all my little teeny tiny scraps that I need to make my sort of pavement trim that I have. And, um, and that's all my laces that I kind of pull out, my go-to laces for my journals. And then I got this other one here, down there, you see? And now I've got a space for all my glue and all my random bits and pieces. So I'm really, really excited. And I can't remember what I put in this drawer. What did I put in here? Oh, just random things like that. So hole punches and I don't have many of those sorts of things. Um, and then down on the bottom in those baskets, they're all unfinished projects. Haha. -ha. Okay. And so, and then I have that beautiful tin that my mother-in-law gave me and my old box. There's some tags and things that I made and my planner and some washi tape. So... Let's go back over here to the work spot. Sorry if I'm making everybody feel seasick or car sick. And now we're going to see what I'm going to do here. So these are some journals that I'm working on. Um, two are orders. Uh, they're Christmas journals and they're not ready yet. But 
you can have a kind of an idea of what I'm up to. There are some others. So today I needed to make some ephemera for, I might just lower you down a little bit and okay. So I thought I might make some ephemera for my Christmas journals. So um, I've prepared here just I just you know these were those kind of pieces that previously I threw out and, and then I had to get them out of the bin so when I'm cutting up um, you know um, images that I've printed I um, I had thrown those out but they're actually really great bases to make tags so I've prepared those I've got these bodgy little square ones maybe these could be good as well and then I've done some book page gluing I think this was a thicker paper, so I only glued two together, and I've cut them in all the different shapes that I'm going to do. Obviously, they won't all be done in the video. So all different types here. Um, and then I've got all these Christmas bits of, um, you know, I get these strips when I cut my signatures down because I like to use the scrapbooking paper for my signatures, signature covers. Um, and so I like to do different things with those because they build up way too much so these are going to be little booklets and some tags and that so they haven't cut many of them up um and then all these little pieces i can't throw them out you know you can use them like like washi tape sort of thing and then now where did i put it you see now i've tidied up i can't find things oh here is that it no just a minute let me see let me see let me see not there. Let me just pop over here and see if it's over here. I might not be able to find it. Mm. It's disappeared. I had this long... I'll just do another one, just a second. Um, now, I wonder what I was going to do with these. I just found these. They're all stitched. Hmm. Oh, well, I can use those. Um, did you see that? I just threw it. Okay. Here's some more. Oh, look at that. I've got all kinds of bits of interesting bits and pieces here that can be used. That can be used. So, where are my envelopes? No, I've lost them. I can't show you what I was going to do. Oh, here's a big one. I had I had a, one of these long envelopes um, that I had folded in half. And I was thinking about, well, I've lost it. Because, you know, you tidy up and you lose things. Um, so I had folded it in half. And I had cut here open. And I had cut, like, the little semicircle out there and I was going to alter it but then I had this idea rather because that's especially this one it's a lovely recycled paper it's um it's very thick so that would be very bulky in the journal so I thought we might try it with so these are some book pages they're not that thick but I've glued two together and that makes them thick like the envelope. So we don't want that. So I was thinking um, to stitch around these. And I thought I'd do it two ways. So fold it in half like so. Um, and then, oh, I didn't fold that very well. It's crooked. Um, okay. So fold it like that I'm going to stitch around there and that will be the opening so it can be a, a top pocket and it's not too thick that way and that can go in in this in your book pages so you can have a pocket like that and then I might do a version with this side that you can slip in and it's a pocket that way so maybe we'll do that first and then that might be it in this video because Oh my goodness, you know, now I think I'm, I'm feeling like I'm organized, but now I have to move everything so I can bring my sewing machine over. So let's just move all of this mess 
I really want to get this down. I'm, I will be make. I will make um, some more Christmas journals because I'm making five at the moment, but two are already sold. Um, so um, I'll have to make some more after this. But when when I get these ones done, and I have to finish another growth chart, which I hope I'll do today, I'll get it going, and tomorrow it'll be finished. Um, then I can think about doing being more creative and doing more interesting things in my videos hopefully um, so let's see here I'll just plug my sewing machine in because I had unplugged it and what I might do is this one I'm going to I actually stitch from here and I'm not going to back stitch because the paper's frail just going round right around to the other side uh, so this is going to be a top loading pocket yep and then we'll fold another one and this one is going to be a side loading pocket uh, so I don't need to stitch here because I want it to stay open but I'll start here I'll just put another one through so this is a very quick way to sew this is a nice tip just you can just feed them in and it's the same with sewing fabric you just feed it in one after the other so maybe just lift it and pull it out a little bit and then you can go on to the next one oops sorry guys wouldn't be me if I didn't knock my tripod a few times in a video Okay, so just trim that off and then I didn't go round because I don't want to close that end and I'll go back over here. And that one's done. And I'll just snip that off there. Now, my paper is quite frail, just a second. I'm just going to do another top loading. Okay. So I might recommend that before you start stitching that you think about where you want your opening. So this is the top loading. So I'll just fold that in half. And to remind myself, I'll grab my hole punch. I've taken the bottom out of it uh, so I can see better. And I just eyeball it. I never get things exactly in the center. Okay. And so here... I've got my pocket now my paper is quite frail so you have to be careful you can't like bulk it out too much but um, um, if you have a thicker paper I recommend that you use that so that's one and then this one I'm doing the side loading so I'll just eyeball where the center is and punch it out and here's my I'm going to do these Christmas theme because I'm going to put these into the journals um, but you could obviously do them anything that you like it doesn't have to be Christmas and then here's my other one I'll just cut that off I don't really like the really long threads I think if I were journaling in there it would annoy me so I cut them off 
I don't mind those little sprouty sort of ones. Okay, there we go. So I need to just pop over and grab my trusty container of laces. See, I love it. See, I love these little, look at my drawer. That's the drawer there. Just comes out with all the bits and pieces that I need. So that's very exciting. I've also taken out my Christmas fabrics. I don't have that many because I haven't been purchasing them over the last few years because I do less of that type of sewing. Actually, I have this one here too. Might as well do that. Oh, this was the one I did double. Now, this one will obviously be stronger, but it's thicker. So I think I'll leave that one for another time. Um, I'm just going to remove my sewing machine because it's in the way. I'll shove it over there. Okay, so let's try and get the brain working. How do I want to decorate these? So I think I need to sort out my mess over here a little bit. Because I just kind of just threw everything, didn't I? So put those over there. I've got all these lovely things that I've stamped. Now I do use, I know these aren't going to be washed, but I do use fabric ink. That, that's okay for fabric that you iron and it fixes. Because... Also, if you get it, I mean, hopefully you don't, but if you get a drop of water on it, um, I, found, I found the ink runs. So if I accidentally iron and then I accidentally, you know how you can you press the button and it squirts water? I've done that before I actually ironed it and, and the ink ran. So um, it is preferable to, um, these were my nice new stamps that I bought in Bortzana. They're gorgeous. I love them. I can't wait to stitch them onto things. <gasps> so cute. Um, yeah, so I do recommend that you use, even though it's not going to be washed, just in case, I recommend that you use fabric ink. Okay, so, oh dear, I have to get my head around. I haven't made these things for ages. Oh, I have these things that I printed last year. Oh, I forgot about those. Oh, these could be nice. What about some of these? That's very pale and pretty, isn't it? Um, I don't know. Okay, you can tell that I came here without a plan. Um, and I don't want very thick lace because we don't want to, I don't like to bulk it up too much. Okay, so first of all, I might, this is some of my beautiful paper from Venice. That's going to go on there. That's a definite. So tear that, put that there. And I have some images over here in a box that I prepared. Um... I like her. Oh, that's so cute. Um, yeah, so I have a whole lot of these that I printed out. Some of them, you know, like I print them out really just in case I want to use them on um, book covers or that sort of thing. So there's plenty here to play with. I was going to make some journaling cards as well. So, um, and I do, I'm putting, to, I have put together a Christmas printable. So I'll have to get organized and video that as well. So you can see, but when I do the flip through um, from my, um, oh, I forgot, you know what I forgot? I forgot my other basket with my other bits and pieces of paper that could be used here. Um, sorry, guys, I'm very disorganized. I may not publish this video. It's a bit of a disaster. Um, I think that and then uh, here, that's too big. No, I don't like any of that. It's all too big. That's cute, precious memories, but I don't think it really fits. So that will go there like that, and I really like this, but I know I'm going to use it all up because, and I love it, just love it, but I might just um, cut a piece, I don't know if these scissors will cut it, I guess they will, and that might just go there and I'm liking that that's already a good one so I'm going to glue that down and then we'll work out the back so uh, where did I put my glue over here I'm just going to just going to use my yoohoo glue for this paper here I didn't get too much on my mat so I don't need to clean it 
and then I'll have to use I might put some Yoohoo glue there first and then where it's popping up I'll put some of the PVA glue well that's not doing a very good job so I might need PVA glue and I need this here to spread it about I don't want to put too much because this is thin paper and it'll all crinkle I don't know who I saw just use a piece of um, just a strip of cardstock to spread your um, glue out but it's a really great idea because sometimes if you use a paintbrush and you don't clean it properly which is often the case with me um, you know then it goes hard and you can't use it anymore a little bit of glue there a little bit of glue there a little bit of glue here and here don't need that just glue it down okay right so let's do the same on our little girl here so I just put and put my glue like this and then I'm going to spread it with my trusty piece of cardboard so it's not too thick And there we go. Glue her on. Now when she drew, I'm just going to clean that. I've got my wet one here. I can't remember who I saw do that too. What a great idea. And I've got my paper to dry it. Okay, good. Done. Now, stick her down. And I will, oh wait just a minute, now I had all those strips, let's see if any of these strips will work. Let's bring these over, see that's nice, I like that, let's glue that down. <clears throat> so these, um, I used a lot of um, Stamperia papers for these journals that I'm making, those beautiful new um, papers that they have this year. I was really lucky that my um, little shop around the corner got them in because um, they're very, um, Stamperia have become very unreliable with their deliveries and sometimes um, my little shop can't get them so they, so we we're, were really excited to see them. No, I don't think I need that one. Up there, possibly up there. What I could have done, which I didn't do, um, before I did this was put a strip of some stronger paper along there. That probably would have been a wise thing to do. Um, so that way um, it was stronger, but I didn't do that. So I won't, I won't worry about it now. Um, and now on the other side, what shall we do? We don't want to bulk it up. And, and maybe in there, I might just do uh, maybe that side... Oh, now I've got that there. I was just thinking, uh, you see, I'm, I haven't done one of these yet before, so I'm still sort of processing it in my head how I want to do it. Um, I did bring over, and now I've lost it, my... Oh, there it is. I've got some paper here. that I, I like this paper, recycled paper, that I could um, tear up and glue down here for writing. Just tear that edge off as well. Put that one there. I do like that. And so, oh, and I like that. You see, sometimes it just then it comes to you slowly. That's going to work too. I really like that. Maybe I'll put that like no, there and there. I don't know. Anyway, let's just glue this one down. I was just checking if there was any glue on there. I put 
that on crooked, doesn't matter. And then I want to put this somewhere. No, let's tear it. Why not? Now I won't throw that out because that could possibly go somewhere. You never know. I will throw that out though. And lately I'm just I just dump it all on the floor and then I just come in and because if I use, if I'm a good girl and I use my um, garbage bin, I actually find that then whatever falls doesn't land in the garbage bin and lands on the ground. Um, then stays there for ages and then it travels around the house on my feet. So lately, I've just been throwing everything on the ground and because when there's a lot of stuff on the ground, it's annoying, I then come in and sweep it up. So I'm more likely to sweep it up if I just throw it directly onto the ground than if a little bit falls out the side of my um, garbage bin. I don't know if that's making any sense to anyone. I really like that. Do we think we need something else there? I do have my other lovely papers, but they're all the way over there. And I, see, I, put, I got a beautiful basket to put all my bits and pieces of paper. I like that. Mm, I really feel like, I'm feeling like a novice today. I feel like I've never done it before. Has that ever happened to anybody? Because I haven't done anything with journals for about 10 days now. And I'm feeling a bit lost. Just wipe there, got a bit of glue. Mm, I'm doubting whether this will make it to the to the YouTube channel. Yeah, I definitely recommend that you do this with thicker pages, but not not double because this double to me was going to be too thick. Now I would like to do something on the other side. What other images do I have over here? They're all big. Oh, I have these round Stamperia ones. I'm not used to using round things. I don't mind that. Hmm. So pretty. Let me put this. I can see this underneath it. I like that. And then, oh, remember this? This is some of my new paper. Maybe we'll put that like that. Oh, yes, I like that. That's working for me. And then the other side, I think I'll just leave that blank. Um, then someone can stick a photograph there or, or yeah, I think I leave the other, other bit blank. So I'm going to glue these down. I mean, this is seriously a fly by the seat of your pants video. So I'm sorry guys, if it's a little bit random for you. Uh, but that's how I am today. Bit of a scatterbrain. And what time is it? I have to go and get 11.44, so I have to go and go out to the supermarket and then go and pick up the girls from school, Lulu and her friend. I drop her friend off today. It's my turn. So I don't have a lot of time. But there will be a part two, probably a part three, because there's a lot to work on here. I'm trying not to put too much glue just because my, my base paper is not that strong. Okay, isn't that pretty? I never use round things. I kind of stay away from them because I'm not quite sure what to do. And I know I see lots of videos with clever ladies using them. Um, but then when I come to have to use them myself, I've kind of forgotten what they did. So I don't end up using them. I like this piece. I'd like this piece to go somewhere, maybe over there. I like that. That's a possibility. Or... Do we like that? Let's see. I wish you could tell me. 
that. And I think I like it over on the other page. And I may, I may, not now, but I may come back and put a little bit of um, Christmas washi. I don't have many Christmas washies, I must say. Um, I probably should have thought about it and bought some. Um, I have a few, so. Um, and then I sometimes just wing it with non-Christmas ones that have colours that are appropriate. Okay. I like that. That's just balancing it out a little bit. And I got rid of a scrap that I didn't want to throw out. I won't hang on to it for months and months or un even until next year. Who knows? Who knows? I say I'm going to make more journals, but you never know what's going to happen if any orders come in. So that's done. And that's going to be stitched in the center of my um, of one of the journals that I'm making. And I really like that. And it's got the little pocket up the top. As I said, this paper is not very strong so um, it'll need to be reinforced maybe I'll do that with the other ones hmm. I could do that so let's see if we've got time to do another let's do the side loading pocket um, it's just going to be a bit more of the same really unless I decide to use one of these fabric ones could do that let's see what I've got here it's a bit small so I made I printed these last year. I forgot about them. My mum asked for some. I use him. Mum asked for some, and um, and she's asked for me me to do some more for her for this year. I'm going to actually glue that down there. I think. Yes, I am. And then I'll repunch the hole. That's what I'm going to do. So let's get. Oh, I should cut it to size first. Just going to eyeball it about there. Doesn't matter if it's a bit shorter. Okay. Yep, I am. I'm going to do that because it's weak. It's a weak pocket otherwise. Uh, now, where is my is my thing? Just spread it around. Now, because this is. Um, I printed this with my inkjet. It's a beautiful kit. I can't remember for who who it is, but if I if I remember when I load up the video, I will um, write. I bought a um, paper kit. It's really lovely. Um, so I printed it with my inkjet. So just have to be careful um, not to get it wet on the printed side because you know then it can go funny. So that's done. And then I'll have to wait for that to dry. Will I? Maybe I'll just wing it. I'll just do it like that. I'll just go down a bit further. I should do the other side first. Yes. Doesn't matter. Okay, so I'll just do this side with this piece. Or even this piece could just go there like that, and then I'll figure something out. Yep. Oh, I like that. See, I'm mad about that one. That's going to be my up, so it goes that way. So let's just glue that one on. Okay. Glue that one on. Just give it a little bit more strength and then we're round about where the hole was I am just going to hole punch it out yes good and that's not stuck together no there we go so that's reinforced slightly kind of um, I'll have to do the other bit as well Um, what will I do it with? I could even do it with this paper. Just put that there. That's what I'll do. Just to reinforce it very slightly. I can use my U, my U or Giotto glue stick for that. So just put that there. I'm trying to be quick guys because I've got to go in a minute. Put that one there, and I think I'm, I saw this one. I think I'll put that one there. 
anyway you guys can develop these some people have um, done my tutorials and um, then really developed the ideas even further and done great things so it's very exciting to see um, so that's that and then I'll reinforce this side with a strip of this it's not to set the up yes okay I'll just put, but with the stronger paper as I always say I like to use the the um, what's it called PVA because I, I was going to say it in Italian that's upside down it has to go there and then I'll redo that hole as well okay great let's just clean my mess I probably should. Oh, it doesn't matter because you won't see it. The thing is, you won't because if you put well, if you put it in the center, you will. But if you put it in amongst the other pages, you won't you, you won't see um, the other side. If you know what I mean, you'll see the page that it's next to. And I'll just hole punch that one. Not hole punch. You know what I mean. There we go. And so they are now stronger. What a good idea. Okay, good. And I'm going to put this, was it this Santa? Oh, I like that Santa more. I think I'll glue him down. But I do need some lace. And please don't, Rachel, don't go back to the other lace. Because then I end up, because I love one lace, I end up using the same one all the time. I like that. So that will go there. This one's more snappy. It's more snappy decisions. So I'll just put my glue down like so, I kind of eyeball it, and then um, where I see that I didn't get any glue, I come back and put some under there. But that should be fine. And then I need to do this one. So I don't think I'm going to put other paper underneath it, or am I? I could put that under there, or there. Nope. Now I'm not going to put any more paper there. So let's just, um, I think I might have to do something like this. And then spread it out. Get my little piece of cardboard. Spread it out a bit so it sticks down. And then go around the edges if I need to. I'm just going to trim that a little bit. Now these scissors are not, these are kind of blunt, so I use them for paper. And my my fabric scissors are all the way over there. And I'll have to, I'd have to get up. So we don't want to do that. So here we go. Okay. So that's that. And where are my... Oh, I like that. So I'll probably, I'll, when I've done this one, I'll be back after and do another one to do some more things. And another cool thing you could do with these, granted that you use stronger paper than I did, um, book pages, uh, is you could, I mean, they've probably been done before, but it's just coming into my mind now, um, is you could have this like this and then you could stitch paper pages into the middle and make a little booklet. This is not strong enough, in my opinion, uh, to do that. And then you'd have these side loading pockets here. Oh, here it's just stuck a second. There we go. Um, yeah, so, but you need to use stronger book, book page than this one. Or more pages together. Okay, so that's the front. Now what's happening at the back? The back, I think, in this one is going to be a little bit of writing area. Oh, we might stick a bit of this nice paper. This paper's going to... Oh, maybe this paper would like to go on the front. Might. I think it might. Let's see, where do I like it the most? That's 
popping up. I'll stick some glue under there. I think I like it there. I do. I, the other paper wasn't working because it was too dark. This is a better colour. That's what I think. Now I'm using PVA even though this is a thin paper because I want it to stick onto the fabric as well. So that's why I'm using a stronger glue. Okay. And stick that down there. And I like that. Um, if you want to know this, where did I get this from? Oh, I think I threw out the packets. Yeah, I'm mean, here. I was going to say I can tell you where I got them from, but I threw out the packets. I don't know what the brand is. No, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what, the, uh, except for those, um, those little animals, the squirrel and the bird on the branch and the bunny. Um, I did a video and I said where these, those came from, what brand they are. But these were, these are Stamperia. But this one and that, I, I couldn't tell you. I could probably tell you Etsy shop where I bought them from if you want to know. Because I just recently bought them. But yes, um, when I tidied up my room, I also tidied up my little cupboard. And I put, oh, I have to get the better scissors out for that. I'll do that after. Um, I also tidied up my cupboard and... Um, I do not have the packets anymore through the mat. So there you go. Clever, aren't I? Right, so let's just tear some more. And this is perfect, this um, recycled paper, because it's green. So I want that there. And I would like, I would like, possibly that there. And I might like some brown paper now here we go i've got some brown paper here i'll just excuse me while i tear it a little bit oh it's under all kinds of things uh, i think i received some fabric in this i'm learning not to throw things out you know those sorts of random things out and it's kind of thin i think i'll slip that under there Yeah, I'll take that one off. Yeah, that's good. So there can be journaling can be done there. So let's glue this one down first. Okay. Itching to do some. Like I've been, so, so, I haven't not been sewing. I've been sewing like a crazy person. I've made. Four stockings, which are published um, about five days ago on, or four days ago on Instagram, and then I and they took me ages. There were so many little details and things to stitch on, hand stitch on. Um, they took forever, um, and then I had and an two growth charts to do, and I'm still working on the last growth chart. And um, then when I sold the grain sacks, I um, got a couple of orders for journals, and so. That was last week and they're still in the works so I'm feeling the pressure to get things done even though I've been told not to rush. Um, I still wanted to get some Christmas journals out and um, so I feel like I need to get it all done before I can do anything else. But I really would like to do some just some fun hand sewing and work on my Jesse Corley and video that sort of stuff as well so I'm hoping when I get all these things done, I'll be able to do that. So that's in there. And do I want to put an image or anything else in there? I'm thinking possibly not. I might just put put that there. And, um, and then again, in this one, there's space for writing on it or further decorating it. And, um, and then also for putting a, a photograph or your own image whatever you like. So I think that one is going to be done as well. So that look how quick that was. Really quick. So I'm going to sign off now and I will be back. I will be back. And I apologize for the randomness of this video. Um, I probably will post it even though it's very hickety pickety. Uh, it just reflects how my mind is at the moment. All over the place. So thank you for watching and thank you to all of my new subscribers and I I am thinking, I don't know, I'm, I have a couple of journals that I made that I haven't put in my Etsy shop 
and I'm thinking one of them is going to come up for a giveaway very soon. I don't think I'm going to wait for 2000. I think I'm going to do another video, uh, another uh, giveaway. It might be just one item, just to say thank you because I just can't believe you know the very kind response that I've had to my YouTube channel this year. It's been amazing. So. Uh, thank you, everybody, and sorry for waffling. I'm going to go off and get something for Lulu for lunch now and pick her up from school, and then I'll be back. Okay, bye.